Hello cousins, welcome back to Chillin' with Allie. Just finishing the session from last night, don't mind me. There's a lot of conversations being had about you in the background. I don't think you give a fuck or even are aware of it. I think you are aware, but you don't care. Same shit, different day. I feel like your your ears are heightening. Excuse me. You hearing shit a lot more clearly or something. Two of cups. You like your animal instincts are kicking in. You're like, you're you're really showing signs of being half human, half something else. What's this? But it works, though. Page of Cups. So this, this, you're about to figure out that you have some type of fucking power. And I'm talking a literal fucking power. That you have some way of being able to control something. The reason I say that is because this gives me the energy of... This gives me the energy of like the movie Bigfoot, the son of Bigfoot. I was just watching that shit with my niece the other day. And it's funny that shit makes sense right now. I feel like you have an inheritance, some type of power or some type of something that you're able to use. But you don't know that shit. Like it, it, it's almost something that was hidden from you until it's like, okay, well, when they notice it, then that's when I'll explain it. When, when, if they ever ask about this, then one day I'll, I'll tell them. This happened in the movie The Kraken and um, Bigfoot. I saw two kids' movies that the shit happened in. Like, you got two parents with, or a parent with some type of ability, and then you got, um, they got kids, or they have a kid, and then the kid has, like, they. It's genetics. The kid gets the same fucking powers or it's something like that. And it's like, what the fuck is this? Like, why didn't nobody ever tell me? Like, what is this? I don't really feel like it's some type of family secret. I feel like it's something to do with you. If it is a family secret, it got something to do with you. That shit is big as fuck. You're half something else. What I don't fucking know, but you're half something else. And I don't really put that type of shit past nobody because the fact that people be breeding all type of animals that don't belong together. Why the fuck are you breeding a giraffe and a cow? What the fuck is that? Like, what are you doing? So, yeah, I'm not. This wouldn't even shock me on any type of playing field, to be totally honest with you. What's this? It's unknown creatures coming up every fucking day. And weirdly enough, you may be one of them. And I hate to say it like that, but I ain't going to lie to you. So. Four of Swords and the Four of Wands. You got some type of ability, some type of power, some type of something that was hidden from you this whole fucking time. If you ever figure it out, then maybe that's when we'll... This is one of the things where it's like, if you never bring it up, we'll never have to talk about it. I never have to explain this or I never have to tell you about it. It's something like that. So I don't know what the fuck this is, but something's going down with you. And you're starting to notice a weird ass change. And it got something to do with that. It's something that nobody ever told your ass about. I couldn't make it the fuck up, boy. I couldn't make that shit up. Somebody's been hiding something from you. The King of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Death, and the fucking Six of the Six of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody was like, fuck it. If they never figure this out, if they never ask about it, I'm never going to say anything. It's something going on around you, man. And it really actually could have something to do with your mother. I don't know. Nine of Swords, the Empress and the Death, definitely got something to do with your motherfucking mama. Nine of Pentacles. You were birthed through your mother? Yeah, it's some shit you probably are about to figure out that somebody never wanted to tell you on purpose. What's this? Because whatever this is, it's an abuse of power. Once you figure it out, they're scared you're going to abuse the power. What's this? 
somebody always wanted to control something or somebody always tried to keep something from you and it's it's weird because it's like oh if you never if y'all don't figure this out or if y'all if y'all don't see it i'm gonna just take it because obviously y'all you, you ain't care y'all don't need to know obviously it's not for you if i know about it and you don't obviously that's meant for me Somebody's about to self-destruct by trying to play with your ass, trying to keep you from this. Somebody's going to self-destruct. It's going to start to drive them fucking insane. I couldn't have made that up. Not in a fucking story. I feel that energy so clear. It instantly is it's clear as fuck. Like this, this person will literally start. This person will. This person will literally start to lose their fucking mind. Like completely. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles. It's something that you finna find out about. And when you do, that's gonna be enough to the same energy they never wanted you to be in finding out or fucking with this is gonna be the energy that you happen to be in. And it's something that is just it's like I'm tired of this shit. Why does this keep fucking happening? I'm tired of this shit. I'm fucking tired of it. You know, actually. I think what it is, is I think there's a pattern or something that literally runs four of wands, four of swords. It runs through the fucking family. Everybody suffers from it. And then you just like, man, fuck that shit. It runs into everybody until it runs into you. I feel like you you looking at something like, man, what the fuck type of stupid ass thing is it? You don't get like, what the, what? I feel like you're fed up with something. Like, this shit is stupid. As, I'm, I'm done. Like, I feel like that's your energy. Ace of Wands. You're going to... You have the ability and the power to change whatever the fuck this is. I think what it is is when you change whatever this is, it fucks up whoever started this shit. Whoever was a part of it. Whoever's, whoever's affiliated with it. It fucks up their shit. It fuck, like, this, this really got somebody... It's stressing you out and pissing you off. But it's like, how the, why the fuck do you get... To, to 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 do this when you did like you somebody fucked you over from the jump mm -hmm. i think you knew that i think you knew that and i think you tried to let it ride and i think it's bothering you i think it's bothering you to the point it's eating your ass up on the inside at this point i really do i believe that whatever this is is eating you alive it's eating you alive because why right why do you get to make these type of decisions that fucked over my life? Why do you make these type of decisions that you keep benefiting, but I don't get anything? Why do you get that? Why do you, why do you get these things? What, what, what did you do to, to, that you feel like you, like, do you feel like you earn this position? What, like, why do you feel like you can just do whatever? Like, what the fuck? You've been getting fucked over for so long that now it's officially the will of fortune is here back to back. You will go to the top every single time now. And the reason why is because, well, you've been at the bottom for so long trying to figure out why you're at the bottom. But the thing is, as long as you're at the bottom, the people that are at the top, you anchor them down. As long as you're the anchor, as long as you're at the bottom, everything stays afloat. Everything stays the way we want it to. But when the anchor is released, well, we're not sturdy anymore. Everything's moving around and it's uncontrollable because we really don't have even like, we don't have everything we need to be moving forward. But we need you as the anchor. As long as you anchor us, everything's fine. But that means you're always at the fucking bottom. You're always at the deep end. You're always the weight. That means everything's always put on you. That means everything's always your fault. You're always the reason that this weight is there. I don't want to be anchored anymore, but you go to release the anchor and all hell breaks loose, right? Until you realize one day that the whole reason that you're even on a big ass yacht to have to be anchored down is because of me. It's because of me. The only reason you have that is because of me. And then you ask me to be at the bottom to anchor you down. You ask me to go low to anchor you so that you stay above me. See, so you at your low, they'd rather be above you. You need a drink? Fuck that. Nah, I need a couple. And then you got motherfuckers that look at you like, it could all be so simple, but you rather make it hard.
it could all be so simple but you rather make your heart you the person that built this shit the person that you said i can anchor it so i can i will you need me to hold it down i anchor it i got it this ain't shit to me it ain't tricking if you got it this ain't shit to me and then you started to realize that you can't even come up for air you can't even come up for air can you not even a little bit nah you gotta be at the bottom because as long as you're at the bottom we're safe we're anchored we're good we're not just floating around all fucking willy-nilly and frivolously. We're not doing that. We sign it as a rock. As long as you're at the bottom. So when you decide, I feel like the girl at the bottom has been there too long, can't stand up. I feel like the boy at the bottom has been there too long, can't stand up. Can I get a refill? Can I get a refill on life? Can I finally get my shit? Can I get what I want? Can this shit run the way I want it to? And then you fucking realize. Then you realize the more and more you think about it, the more and more that you really are like, I don't get it. What the fuck am I doing wrong? What you're doing wrong is being the anchor for everyone else. That's what you are doing wrong. What you are doing wrong is allowing everybody else to party on the boat while you decide to be the anchor that makes sure that the boat stays safe. While you continuously do a perimeter search, a perimeter sweep, perimeter check, <laughs> they get to party and live it up. They get to act like life just like they, they get to go through life and never think about the, the, the tiny, just little, little things that make all the difference that you do. They, they go through life never actually considering the moves and things that you do to make the shit that they do possible. They never have to use their teeny tiny fucking brains to figure out the shit you have to figure out because you have to remain the anchor, right? You can't slip or everything fucks up. So you have to always keep it. Locked down and sturdy. But what happens when you decide, I don't want to be your fucking anchor. I don't want to hold the coats no more while y'all go fucking play. I'm, I don't want to hold the coats. I don't want to guard the fucking purses. I don't want to guard the shoes. I don't want to. I want to go play. I don't want to do this shit. Why do y'all get to go play and I don't? Why do y'all get the? Why do y'all get all this shit and I don't get anything? And then by the time everybody's done playing and I get to go play, nobody wants to play anymore because everybody's tired because you've been playing. Because you didn't have to worry about sitting here watching this shit. You didn't have to worry about sitting here figuring this shit. You didn't have to worry about that shit. You got to go play. You got to go do your thing. You didn't have a care in your fucking mind. But when it's me, no, I am the person that has to figure that shit out. But you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to use your teeny tiny fucking brain to, to make sure somebody got you because I always got you. I'm always your anchor. Fuck that. I'm not your anchor anymore. Kiss my ass. That's your energy. All of a sudden, shit goes left. What's this? It's real nine of swords. All of a sudden, shit goes left. Six of wands, queen of pentacles. Ace of wands, queen of cups. Eight of pentacles, four of pentacles, the lovers. You done been pushed to the side for so long as if you were never important. And it's crazy because you're the anchor. <laughs> See, the boat could keep motherfuckers afloat. The boat could keep you physically out of the water, like contained in something in the water, right? So you're not in the water. You're not feet in the water. You're not body in the water, but your body in the water. But... Nah, you got one of the most important fucking jobs. See, the boat is important because it keeps everything contained, but the anchor keeps it still. The anchor keeps it placed. <laughs> when that anchor is removed, 
Hey, so why you doing your own thing now? It's about it's it's clearly about time. The Empress, whether you're feminine or masculine, you're creating a brand new, brand new beginning. You're birthing brand new shit into being. Seven of Pentacles. How many times is you gonna be the purse watcher, the coat holder? How many times? Oh, you know, I don't mind. Everybody else can go. How many times? Nine of Pentacles. You focused on yourself. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. If you don't put you first, you you are very well. No, nobody else will. Nobody will. Five of Wands and a Hermit. You you be fighting to keep everything in order and to, to make sure everybody's happy. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I'm not saying that like it's like that's what's set in stone, but judging from the energies that you want to desperately just make sure everybody cool, they don't give a fuck about you. Four swords and the nine of pentacles, they don't care about you. They don't care about how you feel. It's only worth knowing about when they want something, when they need something, when they're about to ask you to do something, when they're about to ask you for a favor. That's the only time that worth knowing how you're doing is worth something. It's really not even worth that, but that's just the way of an icebreaker, right? And you still anchoring these people down. You still the rock for these people. You still solid for these people. Hmm. Five of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Yeah, it's nothing but chaos and bullshit consistently. The Tower, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. You keep giving in the energies that don't give in to you. <laughs> you, you really care, and they don't give a fuck. What's this? So you stay focused on you. Whatever this is that you're doing, you stay focused on you. Because like I said, you have some type of inheritance coming through. Some type of power, some type of something that you don't. And it's like, it's perfect timing because this shit don't crack off until some shit like this. Crack. It's like, okay, yeah. It's just certain, certain situations bring out certain people and certain things. I've never seen that person before where you ain't never been in that position before. I ain't know we knew such and such. You, you ain't have a reason to know that. What's this? Now you do. You about to find out how connected you are. You're about to find out what type of connections you have. You're about to find out that it's a blessing that they see your light when you walk through the dark. You're about to find out how important you are, how much of an anchor you could be, but not, not there. It's weird because it's like the people that you're about to come into contact with, they, they don't mind being anchors just like you don't mind being anchors. But you mind being anchors just like they do to people that take your kindness for weakness. But these are the type of people that... They got your back just like you got theirs. This is like, this is like you go out to eat. So this is like having... Let's say you got five friends. These are now four other people that you link up with, that you find out that they, you know what I'm saying, that you fuck with these people, right? It's like y'all go out or whatever, just take the vision, like y'all go out kicking it, right? Nobody, no individual pays for their own stuff. Each time everybody go out. So let's say you go out, you got five friends, you go out five times a month. So that's at least once a week, right? And then you make an adjustment for the last one. So it's like, all right, well, fuck it. Each time we go out, the whole check, one person get the check. I got it this time. You got it next time. They got it that time. They got it that time. They got it that time. Then we round back out. I got it this time. You got it next time. These are the type of people you're about to come into contact with. Mm -hmm. These are the type of people you're coming into contact with. Not the type of people that's, hey, can you um, can you cover my shift so I can go do such and such? Can you watch such and such for me? Can you do such and such? And can you uh, can you go da 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 for me? Cause I got a da 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 da. These are not people that, these are people that care. 
about you equally hype. It's almost like friends. How many of us have them? Friends. Ones we can depend on. Friends. Yeah, you're actually about to have real fucking friends. I'm talking real fucking friends. Some of y'all feel like you got a couple of friends. Some of y'all is like, no, nah, I got acquaintances. Some of y'all like, I don't fuck with nobody. Especially if you're somebody that's like, I'm completely anti. I don't fuck with nobody. David just told me that shit the other day. Like, man, I fuck with who I fuck with, but you don't like nobody. Yeah, I don't like anybody because you're nobody's on my. You know what I'm saying? You, you just because you check off a couple of things don't mean you check off all of the things. And I'm not settling. I'm not selling myself short no more. If you don't check off my list, then you don't. You you didn't make the audition. You know what I'm saying? You didn't make the make the cut. It's nothing against you. It's just you just don't qualify. I'm okay with that. You should be too, right? Yeah, you come up with people that have the same mind state, the same everything. It's like you could have very strong language. You could think very strongly. You could have a very strong stance, whatever it is. And it's like you you, you are equally about to have motherfuckers. You're, you're meeting your twin flames, and these ain't twin flames that you're fucking. These are twin flames. Like you, your best friends could be your twin flames. You're, you're coming into partnerships with motherfuckers that are just like you. <clears throat> these are really your friends. These is really like whatever you need. These is trust you with my bank account. These is trust you with my kids. These is trust you with my life. These is trust you with my family. These are real friends coming in. You are a genuine, real fucking loyal friend. So yes, you get to meet up with several people that are just like you and you link, you click. These ain't, bitch, I don't like you at first. Nigga. I don't like you at first. It ain't no shit like that. No, nah, because that's, that's, that's some weird friendship shit that could later turn out to be something else later. No. Genuine shit coming in <clears throat> and you earned it. You deserve it. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. Real ones that we can depend on. Friends. How many of us have them? You about to be one of them people that has friends. And it may not be a lot. It may be just enough to count on one hand, but that's all you need. Hmm. So you're getting rid of a lot of energies and you got healthy, stable energies coming in as last. These are lifelong relationships. Five of swords, king of, these are lifelong relationships. You arguing with people that you, I just feel like, man, fuck that shit. You done said how you felt too many times. Not a king of cups, five of swords, three of cups. You need to stand on what you said. I tell them how I feel, but they remain the same. But I loosen up my grip. They say that's not okay. So you you still hang around people that be that do the same things, say the same things, be around the people that you don't want to fuck with, and then they you don't want to fuck with them, and they like, yo, that's fucked up. Why are you doing that? Why are you hanging around people I don't want to hang around? And then you wonder why I don't want to hang around you. Like you're questionable. What the fuck? What's this? I don't care what you do, but why are you mad at me for not wanting to kick it with you when you doing that shit? What the fuck? Tower. Yeah, these are not real friends. These are not energies you want to be around. You won't be around them. You're having real friends come in. These motherfuckers that you could just call over and just be bored with. <coughs> but it ain't even that. These are people that's trying to be... <clears throat> you actually, if you got the mindset of I'm trying to be a billionaire, I'm trying to be a millionaire, I'm trying to have money. Like, I'm just not even too much, just enough, like... Just enough to be happy, healthy, and just be up there. And enough to keep passing down through generations. It's like that. And you have people coming in. Seven of Swords, the Tower, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, a lot of the energies that are just... Everybody on that weirdo shit. Everybody out for they self. <clears throat> and I feel like that's actually what you're around. I feel like you're around a lot of people that are out for themselves. But it's like, but we link up. I kind of fuck with you, but I still be out for myself. For real, for real. Like, what? What's this? So it's genuine connections coming in to be made. King of Cups. Real solid, sturdy foundations. You got equal give and take. This is um uh what is it? Um Damn, shit slipped my mind real easy. What's this? I feel like you're not yeah, the ace of pinnacles the star i feel like you have 
So the king of cups, somebody could be in. See, I'm starting to get irritated with this love shit. When you focus on yourself, love keeps trickling in. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what, but shit's getting on my nerve. Because it's always somebody that's just sitting back, just fucking staring. They don't be saying shit. They just be staring and they just in the fucking way. And it's like, why are you. Like, you're interrupting. What the fuck are you doing? What do you want? Either speak or don't be in the way. Like, the fuck? What's this? A devil? It could be some sneaky shit going down in the background. I don't know. And to be honest, I don't think you should be focused on that. Like, again, you have genuine connections coming in. So if anything is fucked up anyway, it's going to be removed regardless. So there's no point in focusing on it. Five of Wands, the devil and the four of swords. Somebody want to bring this energy in so bad. I don't know who it is, what they're doing. This could be somebody fucking off in the background. Somebody doing stupid shit. Somebody just that was doing dumb shit. I don't know, but it's like move the f move maybe that's the solution literal solution you might need to literally fucking move the moon that might be the literal solution move like leave your home like change homes that could literally that to some that might literally be the solution here Because this shit is ridiculous. The nine of pentacles, four of fucking swords, five, four of ones, five of ones. It's constantly, it's just too much going on. It's somebody that's having sex with everybody. Somebody's talking to everybody. Somebody's connected to everybody. Somebody's doing everything with everyone. Too fucking much. Like, like somebody needs to fucking go. Like, you're, or this is you. Two, literally, two of ones. Like, somebody needs to go. Fights, arguments, bullshit. Like, it's just too fucking... Like, shut up. Just shut this shit up. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, but if it doesn't, it's this is annoying. Because I don't know how you get involved in it then. Unless you're connected to whoever this is doing this shit. Unless this is you. Ten of Pentacles, Justice, Three of fucking Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Hangman. Somebody likes stirring up bullshit. It's like a... It's, it's just like... Just like pouring all the ingredients into a pot. You making a one pot something and you pour all the ingredients into the pot. You pour the onions, the tomatoes, the garlic. You pour everything into the thing, right? And then it's just like you start to, you, you go to mix it. You start to start. This is how somebody does that shit. Like they, they like to mix multiple parts of everything and then just throw everything in it. This is one big melting pot of toxic weird shit that somebody likes to do all the time. They have a fucking problem. What's this? nine of swords and a page of wands like somebody is weird man somebody wants a lot of hectic shit going on before they leave or while they leave or so they can leave or to prompt them to leave it's something weird like that like just go why are you doing the fucking just leave like this person is doing the fucking most they're literally rowing all of these energies up for no fucking reason like that's weird they like mad toxic shit. That's sick. Exactly. The chariot and the judgment. Just take your ass home. Like, what the fuck are you doing all of this for? Just causing the fucking most for nothing. Like, this person know they real life weak. They got to know that they real life weak. They a weak link. Straight up. Five of pentacles in the fucking tower. That's, that's, the, that's the reality. This person's a fucking weak link. Because they're doing this. Like, somebody is literally, it's like, look at me, look at me, all attention on me. all. This, but for what, though? They want to feel important so bad, but they're just not for real. And they must know that because if they didn't, they wouldn't be moving around like this. The fuck is wrong with this person? What's this? Or this is your weird ass. What is wrong with you? The, the hangman, the three of swords. 
Eight of Cups. What the fuck are you trying to get everybody all hyped up about you for? So you so so or this is somebody specific like you want somebody to get hype about you so that you can turn around and leave them or this is what they're trying to do to you or is somebody around you doing this shit to people around them like somebody trying to get everybody all hyped up about them so they can't leave them that's some weirdo weak shit if motherfuckers really care that you about to dip, then they'll show you. If they don't, then that's just what they feel. But somebody doesn't want to feel rejected. And the only way to not feel rejected is to have everybody all hype about them. That's weird as fuck. What's this? There's multiple energy. This shit is irritating the fuck out of my soul. There's multiple energies here. All because of one fucking person. That ain't even doing shit. What's this? Somebody got yeah, they're fucking egotistic go as fuck. Six of Cups, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Swords. This person wants everybody to know whatever the fuck this they want everybody to know so that everybody can be all falling all over them and shit and feel all bad and sad because that makes them feel good when people feel sad mad bad whatever that makes this person feel good so they're intentionally doing this shit no because that's not weird as fuck at all <laughs> totally normal ace of wands night of fucking wands this person wants everybody to come flocking to them they have a false sense of superiority and i don't even think that it's a false sense. i think that they legitimately know like yeah this not it like you're doing too fucking much like this person dead ass is thirsty as fuck for everybody to know whatever the fuck this is so that they can come running to them because this makes them feel important this is fucking sad what's this the star and the fucking night of wands this is sad as hell The devil, the king of cups, the three of cups, and the lovers. This is fucking pathetic, man. They they really have a problem. They legitimately have a problem. The hermit, the emperor, and the fool. Everybody, they, they want to feel, like I said, the hermit, the fool, and the fucking emperor. That is a false sense of superiority. That's people don't know, so I got to tell everybody then. Like, what? I don't give a fuck. Why are you telling everybody then if you don't care? I don't care about that situation. If you don't care, then why are you telling everybody? I broke up with such and such, but I don't care about that person. If you don't care, why the fuck you always talking about them now? Why you keep bringing this person's name? Why you keep talking about this person? Trying to make little stupid ass jokes. Niggas know you not joking. You dead the fuck ass serious. I don't care about this. Like this shit weird, bro. This person's a fucking weirdo. What's this? They're highly invested in either you, something, or everything and be acting like they're not. Like, I don't care about that shit. If you didn't, then why in the fuck is this a conversation then? Nigga, you care more than you. Man, come on, man. What's this? Feminine or masculine. Like, this shit is irritating. I don't need, I don't care what this is about, who this is, person, place, or thing. This shit is just irritating. Because either this is you doing this or this is somebody that's doing this about you. Like, they keep bringing you up. Or this is somebody around you that keep doing this shit. Like, you want everybody in your fucking business. Five of Cups because you're, you you want everybody to feel bad. Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. If everybody doesn't know about whatever the fuck this is and come flocking to this person, then they'll, they'll feel like this. But in their mind, the reason that they're doing this is because I want to get everybody an opportunity to know whatever this is. This like if, if somebody was throwing, um, they, was, they was getting married. And... They're like, all right, well, we having a bridal shower and whatever the fuck. But, you know, everybody welcome to, you know what I'm saying, the engagement party. Everybody welcome to come, you know, come fuck with us and shit. In this person's mind, they want everybody to know because they want to be the topic of everybody's fucking discussion, right? So, they like, well, shit. In they mind, they like, well, I got to tell everybody and their mama. And the reason why is because then they going to feel like this. I don't want people to feel like I deprived them of, of you know, of being able to know my business. So I got to tell everybody, nah, in reality, that's exactly how the fuck they feel if everybody don't come flocking to them. 
They want everybody to feel sad. This is some weird shit. This like getting getting engaged and then reaching out to all your exes being like, yeah, I'm engaged, y'all, so y'all can't talk to me no more. And it's like, bitch, I ain't talked to your ass in like 30 years. Why are you talking to me? Oh, you did that just to tell me that your ass was you was getting married. That's what you did that for. Yeah, that's that's the energy that this person is in, and it's just fucking weird. Like no one gives a fuck, bro. No one cares, sis. Shut the fuck up. What's this? Somebody needs to have everybody in their business. It, it's just, it has to go like that. If they make big decisions, everybody got to know about it. The son, everybody and their mama got to know about it. The son and the seven of wands. Queen of Swords. That's because this person likes everybody fighting over them. They have a fucking problem. This is somebody that just has to be in everybody's face. It's super strange. The Hermit, the Magician, the Four of Pentacles, and the Death. It's somebody that has to be in everybody's face. It's weird. It's fucked. Don't pay this person no fucking mind. Keep doing whatever you're doing. I'll be right back. <laughs> 